This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and I recently came across a Master Lock product that I'd never seen before. I believe because it's made for the European market, and to be fair, it probably isn't marketed to guys like me. It's the model 3430D KISS, and Master Lock gives it a 4 out of 10 rating on their security scale. What's interesting to me, though, is a comparison between this lock and the Master Magnum model M15, which Master gives a 10 out of 10 security rating. That's because I think the comparison really shows the low priority the company affords to pick resistance. Now, it doesn't take more than a glance to know the M15 is physically superior. It has a tough boron alloy shackle, a beefy steel lock body, and it weighs about 10 times more than the 3430. But that advantage disappears when the cores are examined. They both have five pin cores, but while the master has five standard pins in a relatively open keyway, the 3430 has five security pins in a much more restrictive keyway. That's not going to make much of a difference to someone like me, but a novice picker would likely be able to open this lock, while the other requires at least some skill. So let's see what it takes to get both of these open. We're going to start with the M15. I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension with a thick wiper insert and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Nothing on one, click on two, click on three, nothing on four, and a click out of five. That should just leave one and four. Click out of one, click out of four, and we got this open. Okay, with five standard pins, we probably should be able to rake this open as well. Let's give that a try. Okay, moving over to the 3430. Again, I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension with a somewhat smaller wiper insert and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Little counter rotation on one and a click there. Same on two. Again, little counter rotation and a click out of three. Nice click out of four and a click out of five, back to the beginning. Another click out of one. It's possible we have a serrated pin there. Little click on three. Click out of four. We lost our false set. Click on five. We got a bit of that false set back. Counter rotation on one and we got this open. Okay, folks, I stopped trying to make sense of master lock design decisions long ago, but I think this comparison shows how little pick resistance factors into them. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.